Hello, everyone, and good day to you, wherever you may be in this world of ours. I want to do another little video on the second preview release of SDR Connect from SDR Play. I downloaded it last night and played around with it. If you have Preview 1 and you download Preview 2, you do not have to uninstall anything. Preview 2 will just update right over the top of the Preview 1 and give you the latest version. But I downloaded it last night and was playing around with it for to about one in the morning, something like that. And I have to say, it's not a bad piece of software right now, and it's nowhere near done. Um, I do think that they should have waited and made this the first preview release because it's much more usable to me than preview one was. And... You know, you can point and click and tune now. And turn the sound a little bit. And you can... Um, you can point and click and tune now. and But also they put these... Um, the bands here, they get the keyboard. You can enter your frequency in, kilohertz, megahertz. Which I'll show you the way I do it here in a second which i don't use the keypad at all uh, they got the bands all framed uh, other bands you know you get your NOAA weather your marine all you know all you can see here which is cool go back to the broadcast bands go back to the keypad i'll just leave it on bands because that's what i use but when it comes to changing frequencies you can you can do all that with the keypad but what i find is better let me turn the sound back on say you want to go to uh, wwv on 10 megahertz just put your mouse pointer on the frequency right click and you'll see it'll turn yellow then on your keyboard just type 10 1 2 3 10 thousand enter and there's wwv and if you want to go to where the BBC is at night here, it's on 12095. Again, just right click till it turns yellow. 12095, enter on your keyboard, and there it is. Just like that. And you can also point and click, fine tune. The notches are pretty cool. Let me widen this out a little bit so we can see a better demo of it. You can go up here and do a notch. And you see as I move right in here, you see that little yellow line move. You can just left click to set a notch. You can set as many notches as you want. You can even set a notch away out here. If you're having a, a station interfering, you can notch some of that. Now when you want to delete the notches, just go up here, right click, and your notches will start disappearing. That's all you have to do. That's pretty cool. And you can shut this off. And you still have your filters you can drag like that. Just put your mouse pointer on the red line, left click and hold it and drag it. But you can also do asymmetric filter which allows you to just drag one side of the filter. Which is pretty cool if you're on an AM station and say there's a, a station over here that's kind of strong. You can, you can narrow this side down and widen this side out. That, that's pretty cool. And then turn that back off. And you're, you know, you can, you can drag it again. Which I think that's neat myself. And there's, uh, there's all your settings for this window. You, know, you can set it. Now the one thing, let me, let me get rid of this. The one thing that I, I guess they're going to work on yet, but it doesn't do it now, is I'm using my RSPDX and I have my antenna hooked to be the BNC jack, which is antenna port uh, C. And when I come over here, sometimes when you close, after you close this program out, I already had it open before I started the video, but when you close this out, it will not save the set the antenna setting she was on you have to go in here and, and set your your antenna input again and i guess i don't know 
if there's an automatic save option in here or if they just haven't added that yet, I don't know. It's not a big deal, but, uh, it, you know, I'm sure that'll be coming later along with maybe being able to have separate windows and move them around or, you know, whatever you want to do, which it might be in there now. I don't know. Doesn't, well, no, but, you know, you, you've got different things you can do and. It, it is better. Like I said, it is much better. And I, 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 as I said, in my other video, I think they should have waited to this point right here to release the preview version, but at least, uh, you know, this, this is usable software now, you know, for listening. I, I still like SDR Uno and I like SDR console, but I will integrate this into my rotation because I think they are going in the right direction. I like the dark coloring. I wish SDR Uno had a night mode. That would be cool. And, uh, but yes, it's, it's the SDR play. I mean, it, I know it seems like it's been a long time and it has, you know, it's been over a year that we've, since we've heard about this, but this is complete start from scratch, rewrite. And it, it does take time. I understand that, but at least now we have a, a working version that you can use your SDR and not within 10 minutes be so damn aggravated. You, you close it out and open up something else. Um, again, I'm, I'm not saying I have a very favorite. I'm not saying SDR Uno is my favorite. I'm not saying that SDR console is my favorite. I'm not saying that this one's my favorite. I am saying that I use all three of them. And each piece of software has certain things that I like, certain things that I don't. But I do like all three of them equally. And I use all three of them equally. I just, I just put them in rotation. One night I will, I will use my SDR play with, with Uno. The next time I use it, I'll use it with console. And I'll probably start using this. And I, I just rotate them. That way the software stays fresh in your mind. And, uh, I, that's just the way I do it. You know, I like all three of them the same, but if you, if you have an SDR play, SDR device, the one, a, the DX, I think the, the pros and the dual is supported in this. I don't think the original RSP one is not supported in this anymore. It's, it's the one a and above, but if you have one of those devices and you haven't tried this yet, download preview two and it and just play around with it it it's not bad it, you'll get a feeling for it you'll kind of see what direction they're heading in and it it's not bad really it's not bad so give it a try and i just want to show these couple little features here of how you can do certain things and it's definitely getting better definitely getting better so with that i won't ramble on too long so i got some stuff to do Take care, everyone, and uh, yeah, give it a try, and happy listening, and wishing everybody good conditions. Take care, everyone. We'll see you later.